Hey everybody, just want to jump on real quick and send out a quick message in regards to, you know, specifically to the tragedies that happened this weekend. Um, and that is that in all tragedies, there's always a lesson or a message to be taken away from. God doesn't allow things to happen for no reason. Um, I would say that the resounding message for me is twofold. Number one is that life is precious. You know, I need to appreciate it and value it more than I do and treat it as the blessing that it really is. And number two, that life is short. You know, we don't know how much time we have on this earth. Uh, in fact, you know, our names are written in a book with a day and a time that we're going to be called home and nothing we can do can change it or extend that time. You know, our job is from birth until the time we're called home to live as purposeful as possible and to the highest version of ourselves, the version that God created us to be in, and, and not shrink down. Uh, really, it's, it's a warning and a wake-up call in the fact that, hey, man, it's time to stop existing and start living. I mean, there's a huge difference between the two. Um, and basically to get out of the bleachers and stop watching life go by and start getting on the field and using my gifts and doing the things I was called to do. Um, it reminds me of a story of, you know, laying on my deathbed and, you know, being surrounded by ghosts, you know, the ghost of unfulfilled potential, the ghost of ideas I didn't act upon, the ghost of talent that I didn't use. And these ghosts are highly upset and disappointed with me because they brought these things to me because I was the only vessel that could bring these things to life. Um, and because I was too scared to act upon it, um, now we all have to go to our grave together. Um, so I ask you, you know, how many ghosts are going to be around your deathbed if you were to go away today? Uh, but the beautiful thing is we're still here and we can impact the amount of ghosts that will be around our bed, so to speak. Um, you know, the thing that it spoke to me is to start, you know, using my imagination and acting upon the things because the things in your imagination are really a preview of life's coming events. You know, in fact, the real life God created you for is in your imagination. The things you imagine, that is why God put you on this earth. Um, so, you know, it's time to start acting accordingly, so to speak. Now, the thing is that we all have greatness in us. We're all great. And the thing about greatness is you can't walk towards it. You can't walk towards your greatness. The only thing you can do is walk away from it. Um, and this weekend has really showed us that, hey, you know, there's, there's two things that will not happen. Or there's two things to be taken away from, again, is that, you know, you may delay. You may have delayed. And you can keep delaying. But for sure, time will not delay. You know, that name and that day and time is written in the book and you can't change it. Um, so uh, I'd like to leave you with a, you know, a, a quote that I love from Nelson Mandela. Um, and that is basically, there is no passion to be found in playing small and settling for a life that's less than you're capable of living. Because here's the thing. When you walk into your greatness and are living your greatness, you affect those around you and inspire them to do the same. Just imagine the world if everybody's living their greatness and living, you know, their calling of what they were put on this earth to do. The difference this world would look like. Uh, so that's it. Just want to shout that out to you. Hope you have a good evening. Thanks for listening. God bless.